what's going on guys this is millhouse and uh it's been a little while since i've given you an update so i figured i'd show you what i got going on and uh tell you about the problems that i've been running into but we're gonna get them sorted out so as you guys know i got the c5 machine and uh i recently put a nitrous kit on it and i took the car out i got my wide band in there and everything so we just did a bunch of uh we did a bunch of all motor pulls and cruise tuning and everything i got hp tuners i've got the new mpi v2 or whatever it is and i've been cruise tuning it I've, i'm tuning it myself uh, i really don't have anybody to help me because i don't know anybody else that uses it around here so i'm figuring it out all myself i've been doing it um it's got a big cam and stuff and uh man I, it's getting pretty good i mean it pulls real hard wide open throttle it still gets like 25 26 miles of the gallon when i'm cruising around so i mean it it's uh it's doing pretty good it drives nice it doesn't stall it's a stock computer so it's still kind of finicky it, i mean i don't know eventually i'd like to put uh one of those new holly terminator x computers in it but for now i'm just gonna have to deal with what i got but it's definitely manageable i mean it drives pretty good uh but I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. But, once we got it all tuned, we went out and we tried to do some nitrous pulls. And that's where we started running into problems. Uh, the first pull that I did, uh, the nitrous worked. It turned on. And I would say it worked for maybe one or two seconds. And then it just quit working. And we didn't know what was going on. Turned out we blew a fuse because I wasn't sure what size uh, fuse to run on the solenoid side. I had a 15 amp in there and that's not big enough. So I upped it to a 25 and then it worked. Then we went back out and tried it again and it worked but the car just goes lean and it never really recovers. So what I was kind of worried would happen did happen uh, when we tried the nitrous. The, uh, it goes lean it doesn't recover and i'm still on the stock fuel pump and it just it just doesn't have enough to keep up i mean this car i'm probably i mean with all the with all the modifications that i've done i'm i'm probably over 100 horsepower more than what stock is i mean it's got um you know i did the airbox mod it's got a cam ls6 intake uh it's got the z06 you know 789 243 heads it's got headers, full exhaust, um, I mean, you know, nitrous kit, obviously. So, it, bigger injectors. I mean, it's probably over 100 horsepower more than what it was stock. So, they gave you a little wiggle room on the fuel pump, but I think we just maxed it out. So, uh, I got to put a fuel pump in it. And what I'm going to order, well, actually, what I already ordered today was I called hawks motorsports i think is what it's called down in uh, south carolina there were or hawks performance whichever it is but they were really helpful the guy you know i told him what i was doing what was going on what i was thinking about doing and i mean he pretty much answered all my questions and he agreed with me that you know i was out of fuel so i ordered the racetronics pump kit with the new um the whole new harness and everything so now my fuel pump will be powered directly from the alternator instead of having you know drawn power off from that harness that runs all the way down the middle of the car it will have its own dedicated harness directly from the alternator just for the fuel pump so that should help a lot and it's a higher volume fuel pump so that should help too so i'm going to change that and i might make a video for you guys on that i'm, I'm going to look and see if anybody else has done one though because if somebody already has one and it's a good video i'm not going to waste my time but if nobody's made one uh maybe i'll make one for you guys but uh yeah and i figured i'd show you i did i finished getting the bottle mounted and that turned out pretty nice i got a bunch of i got a bunch of junk laying back here so you guys will have to excuse that but um set my light here as you can see move my car cover out of the way but the bottle you know the trunk still fully usable i didn't really want it to be in the way and then i've got my hose run under the carpet and i bolted that piece of aluminum to down to the bottom of the car with that's got four allen bolts holding it down 
and then I used, you know, just the regular old, uh, those are actually nitrous express bottle brackets, but whatever they're, you know, just the regular old cheapies. And then I have, I also have a, a blow down tube that I will install eventually. And I want to get a heater, but, uh, I don't know, that'll be down the road, but this is what I got for now. So, I mean, it, I don't know. I like it. I think it'll, I think it'll be pretty nice. I did have some people mention that with the way I have it mounted, I'm not going to be able to run the bottle way down low, but I mean, you're not really supposed to do that anyway. So I think it'll be okay. And then, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this either, but I did get, I've got this Winmax box from Nitrous Outlet and that's, that's installed in the glove box and my lights on the dangle because I still got to put that plastic piece in in the bottom but I got that all in there it's all wired up real nice um I don't know I think it's I think it's pretty clean so I, I'm really happy with that ins install turned out good everything works uh the box works it's super easy to set up there's my wideband in there I think you guys already saw that and then of course my custom switch panel i love that thing but uh yeah i'm pretty sure i showed you guys all that but so that's where i'm at i got it all in and it does work but i can't use it because the car just goes lean as soon as as soon as the nitrous turn it on it goes goes really lean and it doesn't recover so i have to let off you know because i'm really not trying to melt this thing down so that's where i'm at so it works but I can't use it yet because I'm out of fuel. So we're going to get a bigger pump in. And we'll probably put a 50, 75 shot in it maybe to get started. And uh, see what happens. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know if it blows up or anything crazy. I, don't know, but I, th I think it'll be fine. But uh, thanks for watching. I always love the comments and questions that you guys leave. And I always try to get back to everybody. So keep those coming. It's, it's fun. But, uh, I don't know. I'll uh, keep you guys posted. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.